Hi there, Josh here. Hope you're having uh, an amazing day and hope you are well. Today I want to talk about potentially a bit of a touchy topic, uh, something that uh, may get you thinking a bit and it's something that I want to cover from a number of different angles to make sure you understand where I'm coming from. And today I want to talk to you about the, the fact that in this current environment, and, and look in business in general, um, but at the moment I'm seeing it a lot more, is the victim mentality or the victim parts of people's personality really coming to the surface a lot more than normal. So in general, when I work with my clients, the victim part of their personality, um, I'm always talking to my clients about there is no place for the victim. Um, when you, if you want to be a good quality business person uh, and make um, good money and really lead a team, but even more so in this current climate, in this current environment, I'm noticing more and more that people are moving into victim. Um, and today I wanna to really address that and, and still say that there is no place for the victim part of your personality if you wanna thrive in this current environment. Now, what I will say at the start of this video is that some people are really hurting at the moment. Some people have lost their jobs. Some people have um, you know, had to go, uh, go down to four days a week. Some people have had to pay, take pay cuts. Some people's businesses have been completely, completely obliterated overnight. Now, it is completely natural to be upset. It's completely natural to almost mourn that loss or be frustrated or feel really down and overwhelmed about what's next or what's coming or how you're going to pay the bills or how you're going to um, you know, go home and face your partner and say, I've just lost my job. Now, I'm in no way in today's video belittling that process for some people. Some people are doing it tough. Some people are doing it hard. Um, and I really feel for those people. Um, and in times of crisis, this is why I do what I do to help people. Um, and so it is completely natural human response to feel down, despondent, flat, um, angry, upset, a wide range of you know human emotions when you go through um, a loss or something something bad happens to you. But what can happen is through that process of being in those emotions and being angry, being upset, being um, feeling overwhelmed, feeling down, flat and depressed, people can slip into what I call being a victim. Now, that's where it gets dangerous. It's okay and it's completely natural and you need to feel those emotions that I spoke about before. But when you notice yourself slipping into victim, that's when you are becoming disempowered. That's where you're actually turning over your empowerment to the environment, to your circumstances, to what's happening to you externally. Um, and you're not focusing or channeling your efforts and energy internally and going, okay, this has happened. Um, I've processed what's happened to me for an appropriate amount of time. Um, and that's different for everyone. I need to get back up on my feet and I need to go and look for opportunities. I need to do what I need to do to put food on the table. I need to do what I need to do to keep that pipeline there for my team. Um, I need to do what I need to do to keep my business doors open so that my staff have jobs. So in this current environment, I say this to all my clients, there is no place for the victim. The victim part of your personality will only bring you down. It will only sabotage your thinking because it moves you into um, overwhelm, it moves you into disempowerment, um, there is no place for the victim. So if you notice yourself, and I've noticed it a lot in clients, in people that I'm talking to, um, people moving from stages of overwhelm and frustration into victim. And when you move into victim, that is a dangerous place to be. So if you're noticing that within yourself or within others, if you're moving into victim, which is, um, woe is me, which is, um, I've got no options, I don't know which way to turn or which way to go, that's when you know that you're moving into victim um, and that's when you, that's a, a cue or a signal to go, ah, I'm moving into victim, um, my circumstance is this, yes, that's true, but what can I do now? What steps can I take? What actions can I take to move forward, to move me forward from where I am now to where I need to be? That is empowerment, that is moving out of victim. What steps can I take? Who do I need to be? What do I need to do in order to move forward? That's empowerment. That's not allowing the, your circumstances or the things that have happened to you or what's happening to this whole world at the moment. Gosh, um, that's not allowing that to dictate to you how you move forward. 
So I'll say it again, there is no place for victim. It really sucks what's happening at the moment. It is completely, no one saw this coming and a lot of people are hurting and that is, and that is terrible. Um, but if you move into victim, you are not helping yourself, you're not helping your family, you're not helping your team or your business. So as much as possible, you need to stay conscious to when you move into victim and step out of that into a more empowered state. Again, who do I need to be? What actions can I take? What do I need to do to move forward? And you will pull yourself out of that victim state and start to empower yourself more and more. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Love to hear your thoughts and comments below. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Um, look forward to hearing from you.